Yo, guys, make sure to enter my NBA 2K18 giveaway down in the description below. I don't really care if you cry. I don't really should have a lie. Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your Ryan TSG back with another video. And today, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. As you can see, we are in a bit of a different setting other than uh, sitting in a chair with a green screen behind us. Today, I am actually going to be doing a setup tour. I'm doing a setup tour because I am dry on ideas since 2K is dead. The only thing I can upload are collabs and Dollar Demolishers videos, and my past three videos have been both of those. So I decided it's time to spice it up a little and upload something different. So for some reason, I just wanted to rush right into the tour, so I showed you guys the first thing I was gonna show you guys for the setup tour. And I didn't even say, like, let's get right into it or anything like that. It was so rushed. So I just want to say, let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to show in this video is this, like, little board that I got for the school year. Basically, once I get back into school next week, I know it's crazy, but I bought this board because last year during the school year, you can say that I definitely slacked uploading. I mean, I uploaded, like, only twice a week and I did that a lot this summer too so I bought this board to put my schedule and goals and all that for the month or year on this board so I can just remind myself like you gotta keep going at it with YouTube you know this is going somewhere because the growth and support that you guys have been showing lately has been amazing and I definitely think if we keep it up that this could go somewhere someday. And I don't mean to brag or anything. I, I liked a tweet the other day because it was somebody I followed on Twitter and they said, like this tweet and I'll tell you what your future job is gonna be. And he said, if you actually upload, like daily upload and keep grinding, you could be like a full-time YouTuber. That could be your full-time job. Or if you don't do that, then you're gonna be a stay-at-home dad who's telling your kids, yeah, I could have done that. Honestly, that's pretty crazy to think about. My dream job has always been to make movies, and that's why I've gotten into video editing and everything and YouTube, but you never know. YouTube could be a possibility. All right, but let's move on to the actual setup here. Let's get a quick dramatic shot of it. So yeah guys, this is the setup. I'm gonna go through as much items as I can on this desk so I can let you guys know uh, what I have if you guys wanna start doing YouTube yourself or something. So the first thing we've got here is my microphone. Uh, this is my blue snowball right here. This microphone is actually really good. Um, I know a lot of people have like a blue Yeti, but honestly, I think that's just not worth it for its value. Um, it's more expensive than the blue snowball, and the blue snowball is just good for its value. I don't think you should pay like $50 extra to get a blue Yeti. And this pop filter does not come included with the blue snowball, by the way, guys. You have to, I bought this separately, and it it doesn't really help. I, I don't feel like it really helps because the blue snowball filters out background noise pretty well by itself, considering the fact that I have a fish tank in the back of my room, always making noise. The next thing we have on my desk is my webcam. Now, the difference between a webcam and a camera is a camera is like just for recording videos, while a webcam like records your live feed, like your camera live, so you can stream with this and everything. But this webcam is really bad. Uh, I've honestly wanted a Logitech, whatever you call it, C920 for a long time, but I, I don't know, I think this is good enough, and this is decent if you're just starting out. Like, it lags a little, and it's kind of old, but if you're just starting out, it, it's pretty decent considering it's like only $10 on eBay. And I know you guys are wondering, why is this Jordan shoebox on my desk? It's because... This is where I stand my camera up when I record my videos. 
like this is where my camera will sit and then my ps4 is over there that's why i'm constantly like looking like this on my videos like a lot of you thought the video that i did with siwa the search and discard was rigged and i was looking at my computer on the side no this is where my ps4 is my computer is right in front of me and on the right and speaking of my camera i can't really show it to you guys because i'm holding it right now and recording the video with it but i will put a picture on screen and we'll let you guys know of the model name it's called the panasonic h C V770. So you guys, if you want my camera, you can go buy that. I'm sure there are better cameras out there, but I think this is decent enough. I I'm not looking for the most expensive high quality stuff out there yet. I am just, you know, settling for stuff that would be decent for my videos. These are what I use to play the audio in my computer. Uh, these are called the Hesh 2 wireless headphones. Um, they're by Skull Candy. And what comes in the package is they give you a wired cord which you can use in your PS4 to talk in parties and stuff. And these headphones are really good. Uh, I had Beats for a while and I destroyed those in like a month. I dropped them once and they didn't work anymore. So my parents got me these and they work a lot better. Like honestly, I've dropped these so many times and I don't notice any difference in them after like 10 drops. So next up we've got my mouse and this is called the Enhance GXM1. Now it is a wired mouse but it does glow so when you're like using your computer at night it actually does help a lot and it's a really good like gaming mouse. It performs really well if you're like a PC gamer or something like that. I would say it's a pretty good mouse and it has these two buttons on the side. When I used to play Minecraft I used these two buttons on the mouse to literally just quickly place blocks and mine them like it was kind of a cheat but I'm not playing Minecraft anymore so who cares so the next thing I wanted to show you guys is my actual computer like my PC it is a desktop it's not a laptop or anything but it isn't a Mac at the same time uh, I have the Asus FX 8300 uh, you can look it up if you guys want to buy it. It comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and it has an AMD Radeon uh, graphics card. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, trust me, this is good. This is good for its price. It's good for its value. It also comes with 2 terabytes of storage, which is a lot, especially if you make YouTube videos because it leaves you a lot of storage to store recordings, um, like final editions of videos. Uh, programs, all that good stuff. And if you do end up buying that computer, this keyboard came with it. Uh, it glows in the dark and you can turn the lights on and off. There's also a volume dial on the top of the keyboard. As you can see, I'm turning my volume up and down. Uh, so that's pretty cool. The last thing I really want to show in this video is my PS4. I don't have a regular PS4. I have the PS4 Slim. It works just the same, guys. Trust me, it's just like smaller and less expensive. And the last hardware type thing I want to show you guys is basically just that I have three monitors. I know you're like, why can't you just have two? Well, here's the reason why I have three monitors. So this one on the way left is my PS4 monitor, and then we go to the middle where it's just my main computer monitor, and then if I need to see something else on my computer on the right, it's covered by my microphone, but I have this third computer monitor. So I totally forgot to show you guys one thing, so let me show it to you guys right now. A lot of people who want to do YouTube ask me how I get my lighting to be so good. Now honestly, I don't think my lighting is very good, but I try my best and basically I have some studio lights right above me. I believe these are called track lights. Basically, they're probably bright on your screen right now. But you see that like little like little square they're kind of hung up on. Well, there is a cord under that square and all the lights are plugged in and connected to that cord and there's a switch under my desk right right here there's this switch under my desk and all I have to do is just switch the lights on and off and it triggers them on and off as you can see
So that's all I can really show you with hardware, but let me show you some software stuff. Basically, I get comments all the time asking, Ryan, what do you edit with? Ryan, 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 what do you edit with? So, basically, it's time to reveal what I edit with. And I know you guys are about to say, he's gonna say Sony Vegas, but nope. I actually edit with Camtasia Studio 9. I should be editing with Sony Vegas because there are a lot of glitches with Camtasia. But I like it for now because I'm just so used to it. I've been using it since I made Minecraft videos. And basically, it's just really simple to use. So a lot of you are probably asking, if you use such a basic editor, how do you have, like, effects and all that stuff on your videos? Well, I downloaded an effect pack a long time ago. And basically, it's really simple to use. It's not like... Sony Vegas complicated or anything like that. It's really simple. All you have to do is here, let me rewind in the video really quickly. Let me hit play. All you have to do is say 2K is in the background here. All you have to do on Camtasia is go to visual effects, remove a color, and drag it down to your little effect clip, and then click the background where it's just black, and then it should go away. It's not gonna go away since we don't have a background, but all you have to do is just turn the tolerance down and the background goes away and you have a transparent effect on your video in a basic editor. And a lot of people ask me who makes your thumbnails or how do you make your thumbnails. Now the person who makes my thumbnails is at Rebates on Twitter. I will leave his link in the description. But basically when I have to make my own thumbnails, I use this program called Paint.net. It's like Photoshop for dummies and basically it's just really easy to use. Um, let me just draw right here. Uh, let me, bro, let me just draw, man. Ryan TSG 2K17. And that's a good thumbnail right now for my video. So I can just upload the video with that thumbnail, and it's really easy to make them with paint.net. And that's pretty much it. I mean,. My desktop background is Ryan and Siwa's NBA 2K18 giveaway. Uh, I have my gummies, my go-to gummies on my desk if I ever am hungry during editing. Um, I have my Minecraft book in case I ever want to craft and I, I need to know how to build stuff. I've got Sprite in case I just need a little sugar in me. You never fail to disappoint me. I've got my gum in case I need to wake myself up while I'm editing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this setup video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below. Leave your feedback and suggestions down there. Subscribe to the channel for a chance at winning NBA 2K18. And share this with your friends. Spread the word about my channel. And I will see you guys all next time. Peace.